Hey there, tech enthusiasts. We're super excited to bring you this insightful interview. We have a special guest with us today, someone who knows Spring Boot inside and out. Hi, everyone. Happy to be here and share some insights into the wonderful world of Spring Boot. Question number one. What is Spring Boot and what are its main advantages? Spring Boot is an open source microservices-based Java web framework. It is developed by the Pivotal team and is used to build standalone and production-ready Spring applications. The primary advantages of Spring Boot are auto-configuration, it automatically configures your Spring application based on the JAR dependencies you have added. Standalone, it has an embedded Tomcat, Jetty, or Undertow server, so you don't need to deploy WAR files. Opinionated, it comes with a pre-configured setup, Opinionated defaults, to get you started quickly, reducing boilerplate code and configuration. Starter dependencies. Simplifies build configuration by providing a set of starter dependencies for various Spring and third-party libraries. What is the purpose of the at Spring Boot application annotation? The at Spring Boot application annotation is a convenience annotation that adds all of the following. At configuration, tags the class as a source of bean definitions for the application context. At enable auto configuration, tell Spring Boot to start adding beans based on class path settings, other beans, and various property settings. At component scan, tell Spring to look for other components, configurations, and services in the specified package, allowing it to find and register them automatically. Essentially, this single annotation enables a Spring Boot application with its auto configuration and component scanning capabilities. Our third question is a bit deeper. How does Spring Boot's auto configuration work? Spring Boot's auto configuration is a core feature that automatically configures your Spring application based on the dependencies present on the class path. Here's a simplified breakdown of the process. When you start a Spring Boot application, the at enable auto configuration annotation is triggered. Spring Boot scans the class path for a file named spring.factories located in the meta underscore inf directory of the published jars. This file contains a list of enable auto configuration classes. Each auto configuration class is evaluated based on conditional annotations, e.g. at conditional on class, at conditional on bean. These conditions check for the presence or absence of specific classes, beans, or properties. If the conditions are met, the auto configuration class is applied, creating and configuring the necessary beans for your application. For example, if you have the Spring Boot Starter web dependency, Spring Boot will auto configure Tomcat and Spring MVC. What are Spring Boot starters and why are they useful? Spring Boot starters are a set of convenient dependency descriptors that you can include in your application. The starters contain a lot of the dependencies you need to get a project up and running quickly and with a consistent supported set of managed transitive dependencies. For instance, if you want to build a web application, you simply include the Spring Boot Starter web dependency. This will automatically bring in all the necessary dependencies like Spring Web MVC, Spring Web, Tomcat Embed, and Jackson Databind. They are useful because they simplify your Maven or Gradle configuration, manage dependency versions, reducing the risk of version conflicts, provide a one-stop shop for all the common libraries needed for a specific type of application. What is Spring Boot Actuator and what are its key endpoints? Spring Boot Actuator is a sub-project of Spring Boot that provides production-ready features for monitoring and managing your application. It exposes several endpoints over HTTP or JMX. Some of the most common and useful actuator endpoints are health, shows the application's health status, e.g. up, down. It can also include the health of external services like databases and message brokers. Info displays arbitrary application information. Metrics shows various metrics of your application, such as memory usage, garbage collection, and web requests. ENV 
exposes properties from the application's configuration. Loggers allows you to view and modify the logging levels of your application at runtime. Beans displays a complete list of all spring beans in your application. Thread dump performs a thread dump. How do you handle different environments, e.g. dev, QA, prod, in a Spring Boot application? Spring Boot uses profiles to manage environment-specific configurations. You can define different configuration properties for different environments in separate properties files or application.yml files. The naming convention for these files is application-profile.properties or application-profile.yml. For example, application.dev properties contains properties for the development environment. Application.qa properties contains properties for the QA environment. Application.prod dot properties contains properties for the production environment. The default application dot properties will contain common properties for all environments. You can activate a specific profile by setting the spring dot profiles dot active property in application dot properties or as an environment variable or command line argument. How does Spring Boot handle embedded servers? Spring Boot provides out-of-the-box support for embedded servers like Tomcat, Jetty, and Undertow. This is one of its core features, enabling the creation of self-contained, runnable jar files. When you include a starter like Spring Boot Starter Web, it comes with Spring Boot Starter Tomcat by default. At application startup, Spring Boot detects the presence of the web server dependency on the class path. The auto configuration then creates and configures an instance of the embedded server and the necessary Spring MVC components. This eliminates the need to package your application as a war file and deploy it to an external server. You can simply run the application using java.jar. How do you connect a Spring Boot application to a database using Spring Data JPA? Connecting to a database with Spring Data JPA and Spring Boot is a streamlined process. One, add dependencies. Include the Spring Boot Starter Data JPA and the appropriate database driver dependencies such as MySQL Connector Java or PostgreSQL in your pom.xml or build.gradle. Two, configure data source. In your application.properties or application.yml file, provide the database connection details. Three, create an entity. Define a JPA entity class annotated with entity to map to a database table. Four, Create a repository. Create an interface that extends JPA repository. Spring Data JPA will automatically implement the repository with standard CRUD, create, read, update, delete methods. Five, use the repository. You can now at wire the user repository into your services or controllers to interact with the database. How would you secure a REST API created with Spring Boot? The standard and recommended way to secure REST APIs in Spring Boot is by using Spring Security. The general steps are add a dependency, include the Spring Boot starter security dependency in your project, auto configuration, simply adding this dependency enables basic security, including a login page and HTTP basic authentication for all endpoints. Custom configuration. To customize the security rules, you create a configuration class that extends Web Security Configurator adapter in older versions, or more recently by defining a security filter bean. Configure security rules. Inside this configuration, you can specify which endpoints are public, which are protected, and what kind of authentication is required, e.g. JWT, OAuth2, form-based login. I'm sure it was. So there you have it, folks. The top 10 most asked Spring Boot interview questions answered by an expert. If you found this video valuable, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below with any other questions you might have, and don't forget to subscribe.